Step into the realm of shadows, where the boundary between dreams and reality blurs into an eerie dance of suspense and horror. Cast your mind back to that fateful moment when your innocent curiosity led you to the mesmerizing glow of the television screen. And there it was, unfolding before your eyes like a portal to a new dimension, Fred's Nightmares, the 1988 TV series that beckoned you into a world of spine-tingling tales. Do you remember the rush of adrenaline as you embarked on this twisted journey, unsure whether you were prepared for the unsettling narratives that await it? The show, a tapestry woven with threads of fear and fascination, etched itself into your memory with its uncanny ability to blur the lines between waking life and the realm of dreams. Amidst the unsettling ambience, did your heart race as you followed the character's footsteps down paths of inexplicable occurrences and unimaginable horrors? Perhaps there was a particular episode that crept into your psyche, refusing to be forgotten. A chilling scene, an unexpected twist, a haunting revelation. These moments have a way of lingering like a whisper in the dark, making you question the very fabric of reality. Was it the creaking floorboards, the echo of distant footsteps, or the enigmatic grin of Freddy himself that seared itself into your imagination? As we delve deeper, let's unravel the enigma of Freddy's nightmares with intriguing trivia and hidden gems that might have eluded even the most ardent fans. The light in discovering the creative forces that birthed this iconic series, and the intriguing anecdotes that unfolded behind the scenes. Journey with us as we shine a light on the show's impact on popular culture, and its lasting legacy in the annals of horror television. So, fasten your seatbelt and prepare to be immersed in a world where dreams twist into nightmares and reality is as malleable as your imagination. Let's explore the depths of Freda's nightmares and peel back the layers of its terror-soaked tapestry, revealing the secrets that continue to haunt our collective psyche. Collective psyche. Collect Overview, Freda's Nightmares is a television series that aired in 1988, serving as a spin-off of the immensely popular A Nightmare on Elm Street film franchise. The show delves into the horrifying tales woven by Freddy Krueger, the iconic dream-stalking villain. With its unique blend of horror and anthology storytelling, the series explores the darker recesses of the human psyche, where dreams and nightmares intertwine. Origins and characters originating from Wes Craven's original film series, Freda's Nightmares maintains its connection to the cinematic world of Freddy Krueger. The show features Robert England reprising his role as Freddy, who serves as both narrator and antagonist. While retaining Freda's menacing presence, the series introduces new characters every episode, showcasing their own nightmarish experiences. Unique style, the show's distinct style lies in its anthology format, presenting self-contained horror stories in each episode. These stories often explore the macabre, supernatural, and psychological aspects of fear, inviting viewers to journey into the chilling realms of their own subconscious. This anthology structure allows for diverse narratives that keep audiences engaged while consistently maintaining the eerie atmosphere. Impact on popular culture, Freda's nightmares contributed to the expansion of the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise beyond the big screen. It extended Freddy Krueger's reach into the realm of television, enhancing his status as a horror icon. The show's blend of horror and storytelling influenced the horror anthology genre, inspiring future TV series like Tales from the Crypt and American Horror Story. Random facts about the show, the show ran for two seasons, totaling 44 episodes, before concluding in 1990. Despite its association with Freddy Krueger, the show initially struggled to secure viewership due to scheduling changes. Each episode's opening sequence featured a haunting montage of unsettling imagery, setting the tone for the nightmarish stories to come. Freda's nightmares occasionally delved into Freda's own backstory, shedding light on his origins and motivations. The series' ability to tap into the subconscious fears of its audience, combined with its link to the iconic horror film franchise, solidified its place in horror television history. Freda's nightmares remains a testament to the enduring power of nightmares and the creative ways in which they can be brought to life on screen. Warner Bros. as takeover and the nightmarish legacy of Freda's nightmares in 1988. The television landscape was forever altered by the introduction of Freda's nightmares, a series that plunged viewers into the chilling realm of Freddy Krueger. 
The show, often serving as a prelude to the infamous Nightmare on Elm Street films, left an indelible mark on horror enthusiasts. However, hidden behind its terrifying tales lie intriguing details that shed light on its legacy. Notably, Warner Bros. involvement with the series took a twisted path. Following the absorption of Lorimer Telepictures in 1989, Warner Bros. gained distribution rights to Freda's Nightmares. This maneuver eventually intertwined the studio with the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. The culmination of this entanglement came in 2008 when New Line Cinema, the original creators of Freddy Krueger, became a division of Warner Bros. after the 2008 merger of Time Warner and Turner. A complex web of ownership emerged, where the horrifying dreamscape of Freddy found its home under the Warner Bros. umbrella. Among the eerie episodes that unfolded, one curious detail stood out. In the hospital set episode Fred is Nightmares, it's a miserable life, a peculiar poster adorned a wall. Its stark declaration, Mom and Dad, I use drugs, caught the eye. Strangely captivating, this poster became a recurring motif in subsequent episodes. A silent harbinger of societal fears, it surreptitiously highlighted the show's subtext and social commentary. While the show's host, Robert England, masterfully portrayed Freddy Krueger, only a select few episodes centered on the nightmare-inducing character. No more Mr. Nice Guy, Fred is Tricks and Treats, Sister's Keeper, Safe Sex, Dream Come True, Photo Finish, Dreams That Kill, and It's My Party and Yell Die If I Want You to Offered Fans a Deeper Dive into the Sinister Psyche of the Iconic Villain. England's dual role as both the Nightmare Weaver and the host gave the series a distinctive edge, further cementing his status as a horror legend. As the shadows of Fred's nightmares stretched across screens, Warner Bros. intricate connection with the franchise's legacy became a chilling tale in its own right. With its unsettling narratives and curious details like the enigmatic poster, the show transcended its genre, etching its mark on television history. A testament to the enduring power of horror, Fred's nightmares continues to haunt the dreams of viewers, reminding us that nightmares can indeed take many forms. Arms, arms, arms. In the eerie world of the 1988 TV series Freda's Nightmares, one might not expect to encounter references to the final frontier. However, hidden amidst the nightmares, keen-eyed viewers will find subtle nods to the Star Trek universe. The series, spun off from the iconic horror franchise A Nightmare on Elm Street, weaves in sly tributes to Captain Picard and the crew of the Starship Enterprise. The show introduces a character named Dr. Picard, an apparent homage to the esteemed Captain John Luke Picard from Star Trek, The Next Generation. Portrayed by Tim Russ, the psychologist shares not only a name but also an affinity for fantastical scenarios. Russ would later step into the Star Trek realm himself, gracing the screens as Commander Tuvok on Star Trek, Voyager. And the Star Trek tributes don't stop there. In one chilling episode, as a character named Johnny meets his unsettling demise, his parting words echo a famous phrase from the original series, Beam me up, Scotty. Furthermore, during a fevered daydream, Dr. Picard himself exclaims about vanishing dilithium crystals, channeling the spirit of interstellar urgency. As if fusing horror and science fiction wasn't intriguing enough, the series takes another enigmatic turn. The house inhabited by the protagonist, John, holds a peculiar secret. The very same house had been home to the Blocker family earlier in the season, shrouding the show in an aura of continuity and eerie deja vu. Beyond the nods to spacefaring adventures and the mysteries of shared residences, Freda's Nightmares also showcases a clever play on words. Known by the moniker Freddy Something, the title nods to the television series Third of Something. This whimsical twist on a familiar name serves as a testament to the show's creative ingenuity. In the enigmatic realm of 1,988 seconds Freda's Nightmares, the ordinary collides with the uncanny. As Star Trek tributes, hidden house histories, and playful nomenclature intertwine to create a tapestry of suspense and surprise. A testament to the show's lasting impact, these intriguing elements remind us that even within the darkest corners of our nightmares, threads of connection and imagination persist. Mist, mist, mist.
Forest. In 1988, the TV series Freda's Nightmares brought a chilling dimension to late night screens, exploring the darkest corners of dreams and human psyche. Hosted by Robert England, famously known as Freddy Krueger, the show ventured into the abyss of nightmares, often leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. Interestingly, though England's iconic portrayal loomed large, only eight episodes centered directly on Freddy himself. Episodes such as No More Mr. Nice Guy, Dreams That Kill, and It's My Party and Yell Die If I Want You to delve into the sinister realm of the dream-haunting fiend. This unique approach allowed the series to branch into diverse, spine-tingling narratives beyond the confines of its infamous host. The show also brought England's personal fears into the spotlight. A childhood mishap led him and his pals to inadvertently watch the bad seed at a birthday party, instilling a long-lasting dread of girls with pigtails. Strikingly, in the episode Photo Finish, England confronted his own fear by facing off against Patty McCormack the lead actress from the very film that haunted his youthful psyche. Notably, the series wove intricate connections between episodes, rewarding dedicated viewers with subtle references. In one instance, Rick's mention of the beefy boy's early closure due to the shooting harks back to the inaugural season's second episode. It's a miserable life. In this chilling tale, the owner's son meets a tragic end during a nightmare while working at the drive through Freda's Nightmares wasn't just a show, it was an exploration of the human subconscious, a masterful blend of horror and psychology that seeped into viewers' minds. With its deft handling of fear, personal history, and interwoven narratives, the series etched its mark on the annals of horror television. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic realm of Freda's Nightmares, we find ourselves at the crossroads of memory and imagination. This timeless series, a tapestry of dreams and nightmares woven intricately together, has a way of etching itself into the corridors of our minds. Just as Freddy Krueger's claws reached from the shadows, so too did the show's narratives clutch at the recesses of our thoughts. Each episode was a portal, an invitation to delve into the labyrinth of our fears, hopes, and curiosities. The year 1988 saw not just the flicker of a television screen, but the ignition of a shared experience, a shared shiver, a collective gasp, a resounding pulse that echoed across living rooms. But here we stand, distanced by years, yet intimately connected by those whispered tales of horror and wonder. What secrets did Freda's nightmares reveal to you? Was it a late night bonding ritual with friends, the flickering light dancing on faces enraptured by every twist? Or perhaps it was a solitary affair, where the creaks of the floorboards harmonized with the eerie melodies of the show. The beauty of nostalgia lies in its ability to transport us back to moments we thought we had forgotten. So, dear aficionado of the macabre, I urge you to take a moment and unearth those memories. Reflect on the nights spent on the edge of reality and unreality, as Freda's nightmares unfurled its tales like a deck of haunted cards. Share with us, your fellow travelers through the dark corridors of television history, your cherished memories, your most profound revelations. Let the essence of Freda's nightmares, a tapestry woven with both terror and tenderness, be interwoven with your own narrative. As we close this chapter, let us carry the torch of Freda's nightmares into the abyss of our recollections, allowing it to illuminate the corners of our minds where forgotten dreams still reside. Thank you for taking this voyage with me, kindred spirit, and for granting a piece of your world to the legacy of Freda's nightmares. Until we meet again in the realm of whispers and shadows, stay haunted, stay curious, and keep the stories alive. Stories alive. Stories alive.